sometimes on these walks, I feel like we don't see enough of some of these parks. I do, however, think I've seen really more than I need to Charlton Park or in Hall Fair Park. There's a BMX track. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Can we see that? And then it's just like green space, green space, green space. Look at this space. Just going up Shewers Hill. Slowly the murmur of the road is disappearing yet. Through these trees into this spectacular view. Look at this tree. Look at that. Well, I'm just at Woolwich Foot Tunnel, just about to start section one of the capital ring. I mean, straight away, God, it's a beautiful morning. It's a cold one, it's a frosty one. I'm gonna be sliding all over the place. There's the ferry. And lovely view over the Canary Wharf there. But there's our signage. And uh, we're heading to Falconwood. So I think this is one of the longer sections of the uh, Capital Ring. Um, it's a nice walk, I've done it before, and it's a lovely day. Now I know there's plans to extend this part of the walk a bit more down the, the Thames path, but as you can see, we've got lots of building works and things happening. We've got a nice view of the uh, Thames barrier coming up. We're obviously heading towards, uh, but I think we've got to walk around a bit of building site first and this sort of temporary route, which hopefully we change it. Well, we got that diversion out of the way. I love this little spot. I've kind of done, I've done this walk, the Capital Ring, but I've also done a fair bit of the Thames path as well. So you'd think I'd be used to this diversion by, <laughs> by now, but somehow it always seems to Take me by surprise. I'm just walking over a Jubilee Greenway. The thing about this section, it, it shares a lot of different paths and walking paths around London. So you're kind of, it gets a little bit confusing sometimes because you're not sure what, what sort of signs you're following. But generally speaking, it's pretty easy to navigate. I like this part of London. I think it's I mean, slowly you've got housing and, you know, riverside living creeping in, but it's still got that sort of industrial element to it as well. Oh, and this is cool. It's popular. Down between two cannons. You can see that? Oh, and the steps down to the water. God, look at that, all frosted over. Let's go and have a look at one of them. See what she says on there. On loan from R A H T. Made by John Slough of London Master Gunmaker. 
There you go. You know you're in Woolwich Arsenal when you've seen a couple of giant cannons. There's Thames Barrier slowly approaching. Let's go back to time lapse, I think. Well, the route has pulled us away from the river, which on a morning like this is, is a real shame. Um, and it doesn't actually go up to the Thames Barrier, you just get that nice little view, but you know, that's fine. That's really something for another walk. Uh, certainly if you're doing Thames Path, that's definitely a highlight there. And I was tempted to go off on a tangent, <laughs> but it's quite a long walk. I've got a fair bit to cover, so I resisted the urge. And that's fine. <laughs> We'll carry on. Well, we're off the road and we're in Marion Park. And which way are we going to go? Which sign shall we follow? Let's go this way. <laughs> Been here a couple of times. My only fun fact about Marion Park that I've managed to retain is that it's featured in the film Blow Up. Um, and that's up, up there somewhere. There's some scenes filmed here. And I think on the tennis courts as well, uh, there's a scene. But yeah, it's a lovely park. It's nice and quiet. Worth exploring. two routes into into the park it's because to avoid the stairs they've just been up oh I'm feeling the burn <laughs> I was filming a time lapse so I kind of ran up them. now I'm a bit out of breath so if you walk into the park and you don't fancy those steps just follow the, uh, the other route and are we leaving the park already squirrels uh, yeah looks like we're done oh no oh marion wilson park next we're literally just crossing over over this little road oh look at that good little view straight over and again the yogog we're kind of following the green chain and capital ring signs. It's like a, a children's zoo or something. A nice little, nice little zoo actually coming up. And I think normally we can just walk through here. But it looks like we're going to have to walk around. Which is the best way to go around? Probably left. Just like that, we are in Charlton Park. Cool little signage. Looks like loads of things to do for the kids. And I think we're gonna walk a fair bit of this. Yeah. Sometimes on these walks, I feel like we don't 
see enough of some of these parks. I do, however, think I've seen really more than I need to of Charlton Park. We're, we've just gone from right over there, that blue, you can see the scaffolding and things. And we just sort of walked all the way around and then back again. I'm not sure if there's a path that just goes straight over. Probably not, just involved walking over playing field, but yeah, as, as a park, it's a, it's a playing field really, so <laughs> there we go. Anyway, looks like we're leaving. Um, there we go, there's our, our signage. And we are a quarter mile from Horn Fair Park. Ooh. We're, we're in Horn Fair Park. There's a BMX track. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Can we see that. Looks pretty cool. No one here today. Anyway, all, all instructions are basically saying, yeah, this is Hornfield Park. Ignore that, just cut across it. Ignoring paths. <laughs> you can't really cut across it. Well, look at my little map. I kind of have. Go jointly seems to be cutting across land that doesn't exist. But I think I'm going to go down here and do a little left, I think. Oh no, maybe I can cut down. Oh no. Yeah, no, we'll just go down this way. Oh look, let's just cut over fields. I'm going rogue. <laughs> it's a nice space, it looks a bit, you've got all these lovely playing fields next door. I'm not saying you should need more and more playing fields, but, oh look, there's our sign. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. No, there's another sign. The sign wants me to go into the bushes there and get stuck. I won't be duped so easily. Well, that was Horn, Hornfield Park. On to our next, next location. Hello, capital ring sign and green chain sign. And the eerie looking path. <laughs> Just like that, we are in Woolwich Common. This is nice. This, this is a great, I do enjoy this walk. This is not even halfway yet, I don't think. And it's just like green space, green space, bit of river. I'd like a little bit more river, please. Bit of Thames barrier. Let's extend that and change it. Or just do that bit anyway. It only add, oh, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes to your journey. And then it's just like green space, green space, green space. And look at this space. What day? It's like a Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> so no one's here. Again, doing my selfish walk-in where I get all these amazing walks and routes all to myself. Ah. Ah, it's lovely. I think, I think this was, when I did it last time, this route, I think Woolwich Common was like a highlight of mine. I can't remember what time of year we did it in though, but this is pretty cool. This is worth a shot, I think. Let's do a quick photo here. Let's put you up. Going up Shooters Hill, and is that the way we're going? Cross the Elton Common. Oh no! Look, there's a sign over there. I'm just going to walk on the pavement for a bit. I think. Let's have a look. Well, it says 
stairs go sort of diagonal. Oh, maybe that's where I'll diagonal. Let's just walk a bit on, a bit on the path. So obviously, Shooty Hill is <laughs> named after all the highwaymen and all of that sort of thing. And it's, it's mentioned in a Dickens novel or something. Now it's just a, a busy road on the way to Blackheath. Or the South Circular, if you prefer. And across the way I can see a green chain sign. She's beckoning me into these woods. So I imagine that's where we're going. I feel like we're going uphill. We are, aren't we? Well, we're going up Shoots Hill. Makes sense, doesn't it? All right. Onward. Yeah, we are in now Castle Wood. And we are climbing in Castle Wood. Up a few little steps. It's a very nice, well preserved path. Slowly the murmur of the road is disappearing, yet ever-present. But yeah, this is nice. Seven Droog Castle. I almost definitely mispronounced that. Uh, I'm getting quite hot. Just kind of big little walk up the hill. I was kind of powering along and then I've just done two laps of the castle. So I'm quite dizzy, but oh, now I remember we're treated to a lovely little viewpoint. And look, it's, it's like a stadium, isn't it? You got all these people saying, all right, come along, sit down, relax, and enjoy it. So let's do that. Wow. All right, what's this? The Castlewood Rose Garden. information down there and Castlewood House. Oh, look at this. Just kind of walk just through these trees into this spectacular view. Let's double check where I'm going. Uh, looks like we are going to turn off down here. came out. It was fantastic first thing this morning when it was, I think it was all frosty. And I do slightly regret not taking a diversion to the Thames Barrier, but time is against me today. But at the same time, I was just thinking, oh, it's all got quite gray and gloomy. Uh, it's starting to brighten up. We've still got the haze coming through. See that these trees. All right, we're into the woods. What are the woods called? Is it Oxleys? I might have already passed that. No, we're heading into Jackwood. Maybe at some point. Oh, said we're just following this hill trail. We go. It's time for a time lapse, don't you? The sun's just coming out a little bit. 
Really just got the most amazing woodland here. All sorts of different trees. It's a sin not to try and get a photo or two. Or even just explore. Looking up. going to explore the idea of, of a bit of more forest painting in here. What's the squirrel going off? What's it going to, yeah, that's what I was saying, I was going to think about doing a little bit more forest painting um, field recordings here. It's just the birds, just hear everything really, it's amazing. But you just got this murmur in the background and comes to audio and I'm sure I've got the technical prowess to allow me to isolate just the bird sounds and leave out all that murmur in the background. Not getting too distracted but have a look at this fountain. Let's get a little bit closer. Eighteen seventy three is the date on that. Quite a nice place to little walk around and have a little rest here. But I don't have time for that today. And I need to find my signs. Yeah, on we go. I'm getting distracted now. Look at this tree. Look at that. It's like Popeye. the Oakley's Wood Cafe. Apparently Oakley's Wood's best kept secret. It looks very nice but I don't have time to stop and have coffee today as we are walking through the woods. And they are quite fantastic. Oh look, green parakeets in the, in the trees.
So I just checked the map, I think we're like an hour, an hour? About a mile away from Falconwood. Look at me, I'm getting distracted. Just wanted to walk off into, into the woods here. People will be making little dens and things. Here's a spectacular bit of woodland. It's always nice meeting and saying hello to people. A quick little chat with someone, very nice local. Anyway, oh my god, I think I might spend a bit of time up in these trees. Elton Park North, Shepherd's Lees Woods. You are here. Awesome. So this is, this is probably, I think this is the last bit of woods, last bit of a walk. We're not, we've still got a little bit of, bit of road to walk down to Falconwood Station or I think it just carries on um, onto the next section, onto section two, if you just want to do two in one, but that's a bit of a walk for one day, at least for me. Other things to do today. Don't just walk around in the woods. <laughs> this is, I mean, the light, we're still getting all the bird, bird sounds, even though we're by this busy road. But I think we might just time-lapse this a little bit and then sign off, I think, for the day. Foot tunnel to basically Falconwood Station, which is just around the corner here. I'm going to share just a couple of photos, 360 photos that I took along the way. Um, the weather started off kind of bright and cold and got really kind of gloomy, and then we've got this spectacular afternoon, early afternoon sun has come in. So I'll share a couple of photos. Maybe I'll start off with my last shot of the day, which I'm going to do just by this tree, which is going to be just here. 